Hey, what's up? I'm Ben. And I'm Tom. We're from El Honesto Mike and El Puerto Joe here in beautiful Santiago, Chile. Today, we're going to be making one of my favorite things ever in life, and that is pizza. Yeah? Got a couple of doughs. We're going to be making a couple pizzas uh, using fresh ingredients. Really simple in the Kevry H1 pizza mode. It takes about five minutes. You're good to go. Good to go. So what we're gonna need, we're gonna need a couple of those. You can either make them yourselves, you can probably go to your local bakery and probably try to ask uh, very nicely at, to your local baker or your local pizza shop to let you uh, buy a couple pieces of dough for them. We're gonna be using fresh grated mozzarella, a little bit of cornstarch for your hands to be able to work the dough, some pepperonis, fresh San Marzano tomatoes. Tom over here is crushing the tomatoes by hand. We want to avoid crushing the seeds to add bitterness to our sauce. In the meantime, Get a little cornstarch on your hand. You can also use flour. And we want to start spacing out our dough, pushing it out little by little. We don't want to be too mean, too aggressive with the dough. You can flip it over. We just want to make sure that we're covering. I'm knocking the tomato, man. Well, it'd just be nice. Yeah. We're, these are going to take a couple minutes in the, in the Kevery H1. So you can also get these great little inserts from the Kevery website. And we're gonna put these straight onto the pan, and then we're gonna throw it into the H1. So on your pan, right, we're just gonna take a little bit of olive oil. Don't need a whole ton. We're gonna just work that around. Make sure that your dough is not gonna to stick to the bottom. In the meantime, Tom over here is working on getting some tomato sauce ready to go. You put and put oregano in the sauce, not later. Yep. It will burn. Exactly. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit of cornstarch to the bottom too, just in case. And off we go onto the pan, right? and we want to make sure that we're trying to stretch this out as nice as we can make it onto our pan. It doesn't need to be perfect, because life isn't perfect, but pizza is, in any shape. We're going to do a pepperoni pizza, simple, everyone, everyone loves it, and we're going to do a garlic cheese pizza, because I love it. All right, so we got our bar pies ready, the dough's on the tray. We have two sauces. What do we got, Tommy? We got a regular marinara sauce, a red sauce is tomato, um, San Marzano tomatoes, salt, and oregano. Here we have a little garlic sauce, it's a white pizza, and a red pizza. Yep, pretty simple, let's get after it. So we're just gonna take a nice little spoonful of our red sauce, we're gonna start in the middle, and try to work our way out a little bit more, right? So, we wanna make sure that we have a nice, fluffy, crisp crust, juicy and fluffy and delicious, right? So we want to have a nice ratio of sauce. We're going to take our cheese and sort of amply spread it around. I like my, my pizza nice and cheesy. That puts more sauce here, man. Oh, you want to go all the way up to the rim? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, you're pushing it. Yeah. We got our sauce on a tomato. We put a little bit of cheese, right? Don't be cheap on the cheese, man. No, we'll go, we'll go a little crazy. We can get nuts, okay? Spread that around, make sure it's nice and even. We don't want these big chunks all over the place, okay, nice and even. And then I like classic pepperoni, so we're gonna throw some pepperonis on there, just a couple slices. There we go. All right, Tommy, get after it. My turn. We're gonna do the white pizza, guys. Garlic, parsley, and some olive oil. Lovely pizza. Yeah. That's good. It's a mix between a garlic bread and a pizza. Who doesn't love that? All right, so we got both of our pies ready. They're gonna go into the H1 on fast mode. This will take three to four minutes. We want to be careful when we take it out. We want to, this is going to be really hot. Make sure that you have a set of tongs, something to put the tray on when it comes out, and make sure you've got a bunch of friends around and some beers open, because you're going to want to have them with you. Some salt. Here we go. Bar pie is going in. Okay, you want to set a timer for about two minutes. All right, two minutes in, our pie is ready to go. Music got the best in me. Two more minutes and we're done. These pies are done in two minutes flat. These ovens will get over 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Nobody can get that in your house. Yeah, these are professional style ovens for your house, domestic use, to make these incredible 
delicious bar pies with your friends and family, a couple beers. Check out your Killer H1 oven. It's amazing, man. Have fun. Enjoy a couple pizzas. Cheers, boy. Cheers. We'll see you, man. Cheers, Miami. You can check out these recipes and a whole lot more on the links below. Kevry H1 in your house. Bar pies, beer, friends, family. What else do you want? Beer and Kevry H1. What else? There you go. Take care, guys. Saddle. Cheers. Cheers, man.